backsliding is totally impossible and i want to give you reasons today why you can never lose salvation i know most people will dis, uh, dispute this and they will say no my pastor told me i can lose my salvation he told me that i need to work out my salvation with fear and trembling but they did not tell you to read the next part which says for it is god who worketh in you you see people think that they will lose salvation because they think that they gave themselves their sa salvation they think that it is because i said a few words that i got saved now people are not going to lose salvation god is not giving you and picking it up actually salvation the bible says is a gift okay ephesians 2 8 9 it says for by grace are you saved all right through faith it is the gift of god it is not of works lest anyone should boast so it is a gift and the bible says that the gifts of god are without repentance god is not going to pick your gift what he has given you a gift is something free then why should i pick it in the first place if i gave it for free you never worked for it you never did anything i just i told you just believe and pick it okay so for those who tell others that you can lose salvation then I want to explain to you that you have totally lost it. You do not understand. Now, first and foremost, remember the Bible tells us in the most famous verse, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but will have eternal life. Do you know what eternal means? It means forever. And that eternal life is found in Jesus Christ. And remember, eternal life, you can only have it if you have the Holy Spirit. And how do we get the Holy Spirit? Remember, the Holy Spirit was a promise that Jesus gave to his people before he left. He said, I'm not going to leave you as orphans, but when I go, I'm going to send you a helper, which we know is the Holy Spirit, who is going to abide with you forever. He's not going to leave. He's not becoming and living. No. He's going to abide with you forever. Remember, now we have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Not like Old Testament when the Holy Spirit could come and go. I know people will rush to David and say, Oh, David was saying, God, do not take away your Holy Spirit from me. But remember, that time the Holy Spirit could come and leave. Why? Because there was no indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Right now, the Holy Spirit comes in us and is sealed in us. Ephesians 1.13, it says... Um, in whom you trusted, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom, after that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. The Holy Spirit comes in, you are sealed with it. And for how long will the Holy Spirit be there? Ephesians 4.30 says, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit, by which you are sealed unto the day of redemption. He is not coming and living. He is sealed in you unto the day of redemption. So my friends, if somebody tells you you can lose salvation, I think they are lost. They are confused. They do not understand the gospel. And the Bible tells us that now when you get saved, you are a new creature. You are not the old person. Something new has changed. And a new creature is a new creature with a new mind, a new heart, a new everything. So how can you do the things of old? How can you be that old person? How can I judge you? And you're a new creature. Remember the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature, a new thing, a new being. He is a son of God. All right? And uh, the Bible tells us, People who are born of God, they have a new DNA, a new seed, something totally new which was not there in them. And they cannot sin. <laughs> you know, when I say you cannot sin, people will argue and say, no, I can sin. Look at the Bible. In the book of First John chapter 3, verse 9, the Bible says, Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his, for his seed, whose seed? God's seed. For his seed remains in him. And he cannot sin because he's born of God. Did you hear that? He cannot sin. Why? Because now he's the seed of God. He's a new creation. Somebody will ask, okay, so what is sin? How do I know that I've sinned? Now, the Bible tells us in the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, it tells us, whosoever commits sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression 
of the law. Okay. Now, if sin is transgression of the law, then when I do something wrong, when I, when I lie, when I do this, am I sinning? Yes. But then when you are in Christ, when you become a new creation, there is no sin for you. What sins? It's your flesh, not your new creature. Remember the Bible tells us in the book of Colossians chapter 2 verses 11 that you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. It's like you are dissected. You are cut this body of the sins of the flesh was cut out and now your new creation which is the soul and the spirit is a new being so you are two people walking in one all right this is the new creature this is the old man the old man the new man and the bible says walk in the spirit so that you don't fulfill the desires of the flesh can the body the the flesh sin yes it can but can the new man sin the new creature sin no this is new. This is the purchased possession of God. So this one, when it is sins, what happens? It will get the wages of sin. If you say today I'm saved and I want to go and rob a bank, you will, you will be shot dead. Will Jesus pick your bullets? No. You will die in the flesh. But the new creation can never lose salvation. You will die and it's like God will say, my son, just come home. You're, 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 you're wasting your testimony out there. Because salvation is just like a family. You can never lose your DNA. You can never lose, uh, your father can never change. Because you, you went and smoked weed or you went and did other things. No, even if you die in crime, it is still your father who is going to bury you. Does anything change? No. Because salvation, remember, is a birth. You are born again. And remember, if sin is a transgression of the law, Jesus tells us something, that he is the end of the law. Romans 10 verse 4, the Bible says, For Christ is the end of the law, for righteousness to everyone that believes. Jesus is the end of the law to those who believe. Now there are new things in Jesus Christ. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 6 verse 14, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. You're not under the law. And if sin is the transgression of the law, then now you're not under the law. You're under grace. You see why you cannot lose your salvation? Remember, also when you get saved, you have died. Remember that? When you have gotten saved, you have died. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. You have died, my friend, and you cannot judge someone who is dead. That's the end of it. You understand the point here? And the Bible says you died once. There is no more dying that you're going to die again. When a believer now dies, he just sleeps. In the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, the Bible says, And it is appointed unto men to die once, and after that judgment. So after you have died with Christ, then now judgment and will you be judged? No, because you already received Christ. Now, when a believer dies now, he just sleeps. You understand? But for those who have not received Christ, they will die in this body and they'll die the second death, which is eternal damnation. And the Bible says in verse 28 on the same Hebrews 9, the Bible says, Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Jesus died once and you died with him on that cross. It was you and Jesus on that cross. You died together, right? And Jesus dies no more. Neither will you die anymore. That's the end of it. So you can never lose salvation. For those who say you can lose salvation, Prove to me, show me, show me one, two, three verses which say you can lose salvation. And I'm going to do another series explaining because you can never lose salvation. And those who keep on saying you can backslide, you can backslide themselves. They don't know what they're talking about because salvation is eternal, is not temporal.